Hi, I'm Chris with Aseptico, and today we're talking about the 7000 series motor. This motor is capable of having striker or Hall's caliber power when you're cutting third molars. It's a very, very high-end motor that's going to use an electric E-type 1 to 2 increaser to be spinning at 80,000 RPM and be cutting around 5 newton centimeters. With a high-end handpiece, the 7000 series is able to place implants up to 80 newton centimeters. That torque threshold is the highest on the market, making it one of the top tier motors around. We've talked about the power of the 7000 series, but each unit also comes with a calibration port that adds accuracy as well. These ports run a three-stage test. First piece to check for any blockages. The second portion would be to get an exact ratio measurement for each of the hand pieces that you need to calibrate in either implant or endo. And then finally, you're gonna have an efficiency test that's testing the torque. That test not only is gonna give you efficiency ratings that are gonna help the unit be more accurate, but it's also going to help you monitor the health of your hand pieces. So you don't have hand pieces breaking down in the middle of procedures. After calibrating your hand pieces, you'll wanna move on to customizing your presets. The 7000 series has six available presets. Each one of these presets can be used individually for both implant and endo, giving you 12 possible programmable presets. In implant, you're going to be able to adjust the ratio, speed, the torque, and the flow at any point during your procedure. However, most of the time you'll like to set up that beforehand. Let's see what we already have. So every single preset has a title that can be renamed. Each of these presets is going to be set up in order of your implant procedure. First you've got your site preparation, then you've got your pilot drill. We also have the ability to have an additional finishing drill, a tap, a reverse of that tap, and then of course final placement. If you're using self-tapping implants or have some other process with multiple osteotomy drills, you can definitely use those and customize one of these presets. Let's say, for example, you have three osteotomy drills, and your finishing drill is going to be preset number four. What I'm going to want is actually probably around 800 RPMs instead of 15. I'll adjust the speed. And I'll max out the torque. And I'll set my flow for a little bit more just to be safe. Now, if I want that to be my number four preset, I'm gonna use it just like a car stereo. Press and hold that number four. It's gonna prompt me to see if I wanna save that preset. I'll click yes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and keep the label as is. You may wanna edit it to third osteotomy drill or finishing drill. And then now that preset, if we go back to one and then four, is saved with all those previous settings that we just set up and you're ready to go for your following procedure. Now with your endo mode, which is as easy as switching using the select button, your presets are going to have all the Tulsa files pre-labeled on them. You don't have to use Tulsa files with this, it just makes it easier. You'll notice that it's going to start out with a certain file, if you press that button again it's going to cycle through that vortex series or whatever series is selected on that preset. Thanks for watching our video on this top of the line motor. For more information, you can call us at 1-800-426-5913 or shoot us an email at info at aseptico.com. You can keep exploring by visiting our website at www.aseptico.com.